enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Texas, USA, live from Toyota Center. Good to have you with us tonight. And this building has a lot of history for my man, DC. B. Gustafson here, Roy Nelson back in the day. We'll see what's in store for these athletes tonight. This arena's been great for the American Kickboxing Academy. Cain Velasquez is able to retain his title in this arena, too. And also home to the greatest NBA franchise in history, the Houston Rockets. The night they will blow, no, tonight the UFC blows the roof off the building. But every night, James Harden and now Russell Westbrook put on a show in this fantastic arena. Spoken like a true Golden State Warriors fan. Clutch City, baby, Clutch City. Right down there. Clutch City, baby. Which hat you wearing today? Which hat you wearing today? <laughs> I'm wearing a Rockets, but we're in Houston. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy, so every time his opponent tries to enter, he's gonna have to take something on the way inside. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just missed with the left there. Over and over, he's landing with a big body kick. And there comes the separation now. Back and forth we go! Left-right combo is good. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been... Taken down now by Shore. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful ground and pound combination. We cross the midpoint in round one. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Back to the feet now. And they separate. His misses are entertaining. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. 
Beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. Some nice back and forth action here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's gonna have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut. Over and over, this guy's getting hit right in his face. Try to establish that jab. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge and reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Beautiful strike. Oh. Oh, Burrell's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious nice signs as he gets the double leg takedown. 45 seconds to go here in round one. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes off. Great punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Liver kick. 10 seconds now in round one. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Five minutes in the books. Deep breath, relax. Nice job back. Great ground control. That's what we do. Right now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills. Unbelievable strike. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself out. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. What a punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, big punch land. Looking to land the right just out of range. And both guys really throwing with authority. And he landed the right hand there. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Nice strike. Burrell's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Maybe a cut to the left of the nose. 
stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice control in that column cover. In a massive oval land around the guard. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. <laughs> but there's a guy, I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights. He joined those knees in order to shut the lights off of his opponent. Ooh. Effective punch there by Burrell. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. Lands with the left. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by the Korean Super Bowl. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Straight connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man oh. Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And now he's got the tie clinch. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head for the clinch. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Attempts the uppercut there, but it doesn't land. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out but it does excite me for the next round. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes, but this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Oh, strong punch there by Barat. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. All right, closed guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Back to his feet. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Take 
Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. We march on, three minutes to go. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just gonna be one head snap back. It's gonna be boxers going back and watching this guy going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shit into his opponent. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. And they separate. Right on the elbow. Nice straight punch. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Storr. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Single collar tie here. Big kick. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming in tonight. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, Superman punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. He got to whip his hip into that kick. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. 15 seconds. Oh, that's a nice strike. Back and forth we go. He is throwing a fast, straight hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Oh, and he lands yet another knee, and sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Shore. Kick the leg out. 
Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Single collar tie now. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Punch coming, it's blocked. Joy gets caught with that punch. He's tripped. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big knee to the body. Again, back into this position. They continue to exchange. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Connects now with the one-two. What a body kick. And that one certainly found the target. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He is getting lit up right now, John. All right, so it lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Slicing elbow comes around the corner. That only happens if you can gain posture control. Oh, man, that cut looks terrible. He's bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped the fight with that cut at some point. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Under a minute now to go in the round. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. seconds now to go in the round. And he comes through with a big knee. Joy gets caught with that punch. Good combination there by Barrow. Oh! Check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. 
good stick. Choi's sure, tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great. Whoa! All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way That's to get it. back to your feet. That'll do it! Holy smokes! What a performance! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So, back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here, Tom. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night.